Hello and welcome to Simply You. I am Chef Renee and today we are going to be making, it looks like I'm just making everything. No, it doesn't it, doesn't it. But I'm gonna make like a soup. I guess we can call it. It's, it's a play on a gumbo and it it's, it's supposed to be real, real quick. So I got a couple of things already going. I have the rice already cooked on the stove and I have my cornbread in there because we just ain't have enough time to do it all. You know, I want to do it all, but I can't do it all. All right, so I have a pan on and in the pan, all I have is a little bit of oil and I have some flour and I think I'm gonna start off with, mm, I don't know, we just gonna eyeball it. So maybe about two, Okay, three, three heaping tablespoons of flour. And I really just want that to, let's stir it up. Um, I want to get some color on the flour. That's all I want to do is get some color on the flour. All right. So it's going to get, you know, sort of kind of like a paste. Y'all, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know me in production. I say it and it appears, it appears. So right now it's a very light, light color and we're gonna let that cook. But let me tell you, let me move, well I'm gonna leave that there. Let me tell you about what we're doing. Let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm gonna bring some color to the flour and when I start to add the liquid and all the other stuff, I'm gonna add the onions and the everything and we're still gonna start adding flavor to that flour and it's called a root. R-O-U-X, you know, so um, we're going to add a root to that. All right, and no, don't be naming no new babies root. It's already taken. It's already taken. We're gonna, we gonna, we making a root, okay? I have chicken stock on the burner behind me going because that's what we're going to use the flavor. Y'all heard that sizzling? I'm going to try to show you all what this root the color of it now. Y'all saw the flower when I put it in, what the color was. Let me see if I can show you. Let me see. Can you all see that? A little too, there we go. Can you all see that? Especially up against the black. See how that is? Beautiful. Okay, so that's what we want. And you wanna be careful because you don't want it to start burning, okay? So now that we have that going, I'm going to add my onions in. All right, I'm going to add the garlic as well, but I'm going to add the onions first. That gave me a good little bowl to use. All right, and let's just stir those in. Yeah, let's just get that nice and coated. And they're still going to make a lot of color. Now this is good because we're going into the fall. And when I think fall, I think soups as well as in the winter. We can have soups in the fall, but I think a bunch of color in into the, the, the soups. Now, I have in here some garlic. So I'm going to take the garlic out. And you said, why did I use a glass? I used the glass because, why? Because that's what I have right here. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And guess what I just heard? I heard the beeping of my cornbread, so y'all let me check on. Oh, it's ready. It's ready. And I'll tell y'all what I did here. So I'm gonna take my cornbread out. And it smells delicious. Now you all see the aluminum foil around it. Ouch. There's another piece in there. Let me get that out. That's because when I Checked on it earlier. Oh, that's gonna be good. Let me, I got to show y'all this up close. Look. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Um, when I checked on it earlier, okay, that cools down fast. When I checked on it earlier, um, the edges were starting to darken, but not bad, but I just didn't want them to go faster. 
than the rest of the cornbread. So now we got that beautiful bread back there. All right, so we got this going. Let me see. Can you all see this? Look. There we go. So that's just onions and garlic and the flour. And it's going. in bell peppers. I'm going to put in celery. All of it. And now I have andouille sausage uh, and I have some already cooked chicken that is just shredded into pieces. We're going to add that too but not right away. Now what do I have here you ask? I heard you. I heard you. I have here some of my, uh, you can use Creole seasonings or you can create your own. Create your own. And it's, mine has cayenne pepper, it has, um, it has uh, paprika, it has salt pepper. Ooh, it's smelling good in here. I know, I love to sing. And can't sing a lick, but you know, I done told y'all it sounds good when it gets to heaven, so I'm gonna keep on singing on earth, all right? I'm just singing, I'm just singing. So we got that all nice, and I'm gonna show you all what this looks like because you need to see, so you won't think you're doing something wrong when you try this. Now, look. That's the, this is what it looks like. It's just the flour, the seasonings. They're still just browning and connecting to each other and embracing each other. Now, I have here a can of diced tomatoes. I did not strain them. I'm not exactly sure if I want to use the juice. So I'm going to use a slotted spoon to take the tomatoes out, but I'm saving the juice just in case I want it or need it. So I'm adding those, and let me tell you this, when you put uh, the diced tomatoes, and these are skins removed, when you put them in a pan uh, with other stuff and they have the chance to heat up um, uh, without other liquids in the pan, they literally start to sort of kind of roast and toast in the pan. That's what I'm going for. Full flavor here. And I do have some um, frozen okra. Stop saying ew. You ain't even tried it yet. You ain't even tried it. Um, I have some frozen okra. And you know I would not steer you down the path that does not rock. I'm going to steer you down the path that rocks. Okay. So we got that. This this looks really, really good, okay? Now, so while that is going, let me move a little more stuff out of the way. Now, while we're doing that, I heard somebody ask about my shirt, speak loud, vote. That is right. See, I'm, I'm sending a message. I'm sending a message. Speak loud, vote. If you want a shirt like this, you can get white or black. It's on my website in my store. Because guess what? We got to speak loud. And we can do that with our vote. Okay? Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now that I have all of this in here. And y'all know we going to eat good over here tonight. We, oh, let me put that tomato back. You know, it's going to eat good over here tonight. Let me get, I'm going to pour the sauce in a bowl, the tomato juice, just in case we need it. Right now, I'm gonna get some chicken stock, so y'all pardon me while I go get some chicken stock, okay? That's what we doing, we getting chicken stock. And I think I'm gonna take probably about, well, as much as I can hold in here before it's too hot. So, so far, this is three, and 
in the chicken stock. Oh, that smells good. I did not add salt and pepper. I didn't add any of that. I added celery, onions, um, and then the, you know, the bones of the chicken and stuff. So I don't want, I'm scooping up the celery right now. I don't want all of that. All I want, ooh, that is hot. All I want is the broth. So let's do it this way. All righty, so let me check on this. Let me stir and check on this. Now, because I did it this way, I'm not going to get a bunch of, uh, what do you call, uh, clumps of, of flour. I'm not going to get that, and I don't want that. I want it to be purdy. Now, also in my, yes, I did say purdy. Uh, also in my in my broth or in my seasonings, I have turmeric, and you know why I have turmeric. I have turmeric. I have um, uh, seasonings that are going to make a difference as far as my health is concerned. Okay, okay. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. This looks so beautiful. I, I really want you to see. Let me. I'm gonna stir with this one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'm, I'm looking for something to show you. And this is not even, this is a quick, quick, easy gumbo style soup. So it's not going to take you long. And you can prep your ingredients early. Did y'all hear that? Listen. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let me try. Let me focus. Let me focus. I do, you know, I can make, we can make music out of anything, all us folks. Okay. All right, so now that I have that on, I really want you to see that. Let me put some in here because I really want you to see it. It's so beautiful. It's just, it's, it's pretty. Here, I'm going to hold it up to you. See? You see that? Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You know I got to taste it. I, I have all the seasonings, but I didn't do a lot of salt. Let me, let me get another spoon because I don't want y'all to think that I'm spreading stuff because I ain't spreading nothing but love, okay? I'm just spreading love. That's what I'm spreading. Y'all need to stop spreading love. Let's taste. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> it's so good. Mmm. Okay. Look, I'm not just saying that because I made it. This is really good. So let's go and pump it up for the people who like the meat, okay? All right, so I added the chicken. Now I'm adding the sausage. Now because we used uh, the andouille sausage and the chicken, that was already done. It really wasn't going to take this long. And y'all saw me take that cornbread out the oven. And I got the rice on there. Who gonna throw down? Me. Yeah. And y'all know I'm greedy. Oh, that's real good. Give me a minute. Mmm. Okay, I'm not trying to do any advertisement. But I'm going to tell y'all. I do get my wines at Martha Stewart Wines, and boy, they are delicious. No, I ain't get paid for that. I'm just sharing with y'all, because she's done all the homework for you. She's already looked it up. I mean, these are stellar wines. These are award-winning wines that I'm getting, and I'm drinking. Okay, so let me, let me just, let me just, let me just sample this again. Y'all know I already sampled it. Okay, this was the other spoon. Now I got to get rid of both of them. Oh. Mm. Hot. Mm. Mm. So good. So good. Now, I'm going to add okra. Why? Because I want to add some okra. But I'm not going to add a lot of okra. You know, I'm not going to add a lot of okra. Okay, y'all? I'm not going to add a lot. I'm just going to add a little bit. 
Now, here's the thing with the frozen okra. You know, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to add okra because you know what? I need to check with all the people that's eating tonight because if, if they don't want to eat my okra, you know what? I'm going to cook my okra on the side. But this is just perfect and ready to go. Let me make y'all a plate. I'm going to make you a plate, okay? Because this is just fabulous. Okay, look. Ain't nothing wrong with the sound. I know y'all saw me. Fabulous. Okay. Let me get my rice. Now, I'm, I'm going to show y'all something else. What I want to use. We're going to use. We're going to use this. We're going to use this because since I can palm it. Okay. And let's get some rice. Let's get some rice. Y'all pardon me. I'm just going to get some rice. Okay. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get the rice and I'm gonna smash it down. And let me tell you something too about the rice. I'm using jasmine rice. You know why? Number one, because it's just delicious. You sprinkle a little salt in the water, you coat the rice, you know, with the salt and oil, and then you add your water. And it cooks up very nicely. But it'll also stick together. And that's what I want right now for a pretty, pretty serving. Okay? So let's do that. Okay, and don't y'all be talking about the size of my bowl. Not of the rice, the bowl I'm about to pull out. Y'all gonna say, oh, she's so greedy. But guess what? Guess what? I am. <laughs> okay. So, I have this. Oh, that ain't enough rice. Y'all look at this. Okay, see, I just wanted to make a little pretty impression. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you know what? It's it's in there, but that ain't high enough. I mean, I, I got to present. I got to represent well. I'm getting some more rice. Okay. Okay. Okay, I heard you talking about, okay, now I think you're greedy. I, I don't know why now you believe it, because I told you I was greedy from the get-go. Okay, so we just going to sit that right on top. Bam, ba bam. That's what I was going for. Now, let's do this thing right. Let's do this thing right. I don't know if I want that big. Okay, I guess I could use this spoon. Yeah, this is a big spoon. But it's for a big girl. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, you know what? I just can't mess this up. Let me do it a different way. That big old spoon just going to throw me off. Let's scoop some of this out. And I'm going to put it all around. Woo! Yeah. Okay, I know y'all saying stop, stop. No. I'm going to keep on going. Okay. Now I need this spoon, but I need it only for the sauce, the juice. Oh, and by the way, because this flavor is so, I'm going to say potent, because it is so potent, I can add, oh lordy, oh lordy, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, y'all. Y'all know I get a little excited. Let's do that. I'm going to show y'all something. Let me move some of this. I'm going to cover up the, the goodies. Get y'all mind out the gut. I'm talking about the goodies on the stove. Cover up those goodies. Give me two seconds. I want to show y'all something. All right, there we go. Yeah, I said that. I know, I know, I know, I know. Y'all just bear with me. Garbage. Okay. I got to show y'all. I got to show y'all. I got to show you. Okay, so. I don't know. Can y'all see this? Because I done made a mess. Y'all can see this if I put it right here, right? We give thanks. Okay, y'all just... Give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a minute. 
give it Y'all saw me take this out. This ain't come from the store. Okay. What we gonna do? What we gonna do? I don't know what y'all gonna do with me. Y'all heard that? Okay. Now, I gotta get me a plate. Y'all bear with me. I'm gonna get me a plate. Give me a plate. Y'all know I ain't finished. I'm not finished. Stop judging me. Okay. Okay. No, no. We gotta have this pretty. Where is my offset spatula? Give me two sets. cast down is so deep that, that ain't a pretty piece but guess what that's all right that's all right this is real this is live this is real y'all look at that look at that oh and I'm putting it all on there one other thing I know this is gonna seem a little odd but y'all just go with it go with me because just stay with me I have mint I have mint I'm not doing a lot. I'm just going to do a little. And I hear you say, oh, that's new. Yep, that's what we do. Be creative. Be creative. Now, you can use, I would use some sage with this. I would do mint and sage. But the store was, was shot. They ain't have any. Look at that. Let me move everything. Let me get a new spoon. Y'all look, y'all look, 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 look. Look at here. What they say, boy? Look at here. Look at here. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Y'all hear my y'all hear my computer talking to me. Okay. Mm. That is delicious. Mm. The end. Okay, listen. Thank you all for joining me. This is definitely, oh my, you all are going to make this over and over and over again. This is what you can do with your leftover chicken. If you have sausage left over from breakfast that morning, you already know what your dinner is going to be because you, you can do whatever kind of meat you want. You don't even have to use the sausage and the chicken. If you want to use shrimp, go ahead and use shrimp. You want to use beef, do it. Do you. This is really, really good. I am going to be greedy. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So good. Listen, I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in today to Simply You. Again, I'm Chef Renee. You all go to the website, Simply You Mag, M A G. Click on it, sign up to get the digital magazine. It's free, it's not committing you to anything. Sign up to watch Lunch and Learn to learn about these things that I use in these foods and dishes. Um, our virtual school is open. It's open for you all to register for classes. So we got to put up some extra classes. But right now we're taking the private classes and lessons and we're doing nutrition seminars. So if you're interested in your organization, having a chat about building your immune system, about supporting foods that support your immune system, treats for kids and students to do because the virtual learning, we got uh, classes for that and sessions for that. So check us out. Uh, send me a contact. Let me know what it is that you'd like to do. And if you or your organization would like to be a sponsor of Simply uh, You or of Lunch and Learn, let me know. Also, if your organization is interested in talking about diversity and in the community with regards to nutrition and our needs and so forth, 
Call me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and eat my food. You all go and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Remember, COVID-19 is still out there. Wear your mask, six feet apart. Be nice, be nice, okay? Be nice, and I will see you on Wednesday at 12.15, Lunch and Learn. I appreciate you, have a wonderful week, all right? Love you, bye-bye.